hello friends welcome to my channel today in this video i am going to discuss about soaps how to choose and purchase good quality soaps how we can know that it's a good quality soap if you are interested then keep on watching before that please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and keep the bell icon active to see all my latest video updates first these just the various soaps available in market we are in a confusion of uh, buying these soaps and generally we people buy soaps seeing advertisements their color fragrance and uh, how much lather it gives generally we think that uh, soaps that gives good foam cleanses our body very well but it's not right soaps are categorized in two types depending on their tfm toilet soaps and bathing bars tfm means total fatty matter the quality of the soap depends upon tfm if tfm is more than it's a good quality soap toilet soaps are divided into three sub categories grade 1 soap grade 2 and grade 3 soap so i have indicated some soaps these are examples grade 1 soaps are soaps with tfm more than 76 percent in the back of the soap wrapper they indicates uh, the, the type of soap tfm and grade these grade 1 soaps are very gentle on our skin and it has better cleaning properties and it doesn't have any fillers. Fillers means harmful chemicals. Grade 2 soaps are having TFM 76% to 70% and they have large amount of fillers in it. You can see I have marked uh, the percentage of TFM and which kind of soap it is. In grade 3 soaps are soaps with TFM 70% to 60%. And it doesn't have any, um, it has, sorry, it has more fillers. Fillers means harmful chemicals in it people with any skin type it is better to purchase grade 1 soaps as they doesn't harm uh, our skin and soaps which are made with vegetable oils are uh, soft in nature whereas uh, soaps made out of animal fat are uh, hard in nature coming to the bathing bars the content of this uh, tfm content uh, should be less than 60 percent and not less than 40 percent the price of these soaps are high because they contain moisturizing cream and glycerin in it according to bias there is no need to mention tfm value on these soaps but they should compulsory print these details on back of the soap wrappers now let us see what they should compulsory print name of the manufacturer brand name of the material net weight manufacturing uh, month and year any other ingredients mrp etc so that's all for today's video and hope this video is helpful for you guys and if you like my channel please subscribe to my channel hit on the like button and share with your friends and family so until next video take care bye